Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Susmenia, your true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Lonesome Road, which we are attempting to do, having arrived here level one and naked and generally completely underprepared. But we're looking better. We're looking better. We've got some really, really nice riot gear and a breathing mask, so we're not breathing in anything nasty. And more importantly, we've actually got some flipping damage threshold now, which is very, very welcome indeed. We've also got this here laser detonator that can make warheads go kaboom, which is good because we need that warhead over there to go kaboom in order to actually uh, get past it and get to a collapsed tunnel that leads through to the next area. This is the only way to progress through to the next area. Unfortunately, the moment we do cause that warhead to go kaboom, and it's already glowing very, very nicely there, a load of enemies are going to spawn in. Very, very, very nasty one. So... There's a few options for taking care of that, one of which was actually basically mining the hell out of this area right here, because as soon as you detonate this, some of them will start running this way, but I'm out of mines. I used up all my mines, of which there are quite a few floating around in this area, purely for the sake of surviving the ambush that got me the laser detonator in the first place. Now that leaves me a few options that we could do. We cleared out the marked men security house, or whatever it's called, over here already, so... Way back, we've already got ourselves a safe spot right here, potentially. So, Edie, you just wait here for a second. Okay, wait, hang on. I've realised we've just forgotten something. Edie, I'm really sorry. I actually forgot to get you something. Hang on. No, 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 no. Wait, we need to go and get something for Edie. Back to the flipping headquarters. I've actually forgotten, like, one of the main reasons you take the headquarters aside from the auto dock. There is, uh, under one of the desks, sorry, the flashy, sparkly, destroyed iBot. Which gets us another iBot upgrade circuit board. Edie goes up to the next level. So now Edie can actually produce small energy cells or micro fusion cells once a day. Sorry, Edie, I forgot about that. Speaking of Edie, there's now a few things we can actually do with her. Now I'm wearing this armour, my guns has been actually raised past uh, 25, because it's 23 plus 5 from the armour. So now I can say, hey, does that happen to be an Armco portable reloading bench built into you? That'd be very handy indeed, Edie. Happy beeping! Now I can't remember exactly what that does. I think that improves the quality of the repair work Edie does. And with a repair of 35, if you switch to the 3-8 slash wrench and the smaller drill, these weapon repairs would be easier. Nice, happy beeping indeed. So, excellent. Now she's presumably even better at doing all of that. Also, I want microfusion cells because my plasma rifle is pretty good. 20 microfusion cells, not the worst thing in the world. I think there's more we can do with Edie yet, if I recall correctly. Yes, explosives 35. If you strip out plasma relays on these energy cells, you could make flamer fuel. Lovely. So now, as a result, she can make flamer fuel as well as everything else. But, 65. That's where things start getting a little bit more interesting. That there explosive 65. We kind of want to get there sooner rather than later because the upgrade you unlock there, what Edie can start doing, is very, very good. Ah, good. So Edie can actually start making ammo as well. Lovely. Multi tools. Ah, possibly that's what the gun check is. It, she can start working as an ammo bench rather than just as a normal workbench. Lovely. So, as I was saying, now Edie has been upgraded, yes, we've got options for how to get through the next big ambush. Option number one is one. Edie, I want Edie to wait right here and block off the stairs. Right now I'm in an elevated position with only one entranceway, and that's the stairs. Edie is going to guard my back, not get involved in the fighting so much, just stay at the back here. Next, I can just get up to here and blow up that thing right over there. Once that thing has been blown up... And basically, assuming it's got the range. Yep, that's got the range, right. So that's now detonated. Next, go straight over to Red Glare. Need Red Glare to be available because now they're going to start coming. Sooner rather than later. Wait for it. Wait for any sign of movement. Yep, go, 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 go. Right, they're coming then at this point. Good, good. Reload. ED, guard my back. All right, they are coming, and... Okay, they're already tossing in grenades, but they're missing, which is good. Right, there's one over there. Maybe just we go for... I can't see what's going on, but we're doing something to him. Right, unfortunately, it's not even getting past his damage threshold, which is very annoying. Uh, right, he's not hitting me. I think he's got a tri-beam laser rifle there. Right, okay, and uh, I've got the, the view swaying like crazy. I'm not getting direct hits. He's just getting kind of gently knackered. But luckily only one of them seems to be coming forward. Edie's unconscious. That's not a good sign. That's a terrible sign. Right, start running. Right, fall back. The auto-inject stim packs will keep me alive for the time being. But 
Uh, right, hang on. Where's the where's the exit? There's an exit. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Right, so Edie's down. Edie wasn't going to stand up to much of this. Oh! Well, that guy just managed to sneak up on me, and now I'm even more crippled. Right, okay, actually, no, you've got a you've got a melee weapon. Well, we know what we do to guys with melee weapons. Bare minimum, we can just basically keep you one. Just stop you using your legs, please. Thank you. Right, one rank into the Blade of the West. Everything else, screw it right into the legs, because apparently we can hit the legs, and we might actually just be able to kill you straight up. So, boom. Didn't knock your thing off. Also didn't knock anything off, but Vat's defense might just save my life, because that's all gone completely wrong. How are we doing, by the way? We need you to... Well, you're stunned for the time being, which is nice. Uh, apparently your legs are still not down. How are your legs still not down, you magnificent bastard? Right, reload. We've only got 81 nails left at this point. And down he goes. Right, we're technically still in danger. No one else has shown up just yet, but they will. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. Uh, down to plasma, which has got almost nothing in it. All those guys are over there. All those guys are over there right now. Okay. Danger. Why is it not fading to caution if they don't know where I am? And they don't know where I am. Okay. I know my health is low. It's fine. Let's just eat some stuff for the time being. Good old Nuka Cola. Right. Any chance we can see them through this gate that they won't be able to open? No. They're around there. But they might have made it up to the top. I'm not sure what they can. Presumably they can. They can climb this area. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, one of them is presumably down there. If he's just down there, then... How many grenades do I have left? My grenades are getting better. Plasma grenades, damage 174. A good solid hit will do most of the health bar. And that guy, if that's the guy, I think that's the guy, is already dead. This car should give me a good view over the top here. And wait. And there you are, my good man. I think you're exactly the guy. 74% chance to hit. Please hit. Come on. One grenade for you. Oh, that's about right to me. Yep, that'll flipping do. Right, back off. Now, more of them. There. 45 XP for that. Honestly, not that generous. Where are the rest of them? Okay. Swing the camera around. I don't actually... Okay, I see one guy at the back over there. But at this point, I think I've taken care of the guys that are going to come out and follow me. Which is fine. Because that means I might just be able to snipe off the remainder. Now, being up top might be a bit too far away, to be honest. I won't be able to see. Because the problem with Lonesome Road is low visibility. These sandstorms mean you can't really see what the bloody hell's going on half the time. Red Glare is still a good pick, despite everything. I can't ah. When I say Red Glare's a good pick, unfortunately, Red Glare's red, you know, glare, doesn't exactly work particularly well with the sandstorm. I... Is is that a person? That might be a person. I'm going to fire some rockets at it. No, that's a person, though. That's a person. Over there. Yeah, that's a person. Nice. Right, I've got eyes on one person. Let's just come out of this mode occasion just to make sure everything's fine. Are you still up there? I, I don't... Yes. Yes, you are. I'm hitting something. I'm just going to keep firing because I am definitely hitting something right now. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, yes, you're almost dead, in fact. Yeah, you're almost dead. Screw you. Right, fire. Fire over there. Fire over there. I think we've got potentially one of them dead. No, where is he? Well, there he is. Wait, no, that's Blister. That's Blister over there. Just keep firing for Blister. Blister is one of the... Okay, now I'm hitting a hunter instead. You know what? This is working. This is fine. This is exactly what Red Glare is made for. Just fire blindly and sort of... Oh, there's... there's. I think that's something over there. That looks like something. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's Blister. He's one of the named ones. He's special. And he needs to go down because he's... Actually, he's got... I think he's got a flame up, which is not the worst thing in the world. How's my ammo doing? I've burnt about half it already. And also, now it's night. Right. I just need to watch for movement. Are you moving or are you a post? I don't know. Also, what happened to that scout? What happened to the scout? I'm just going to fire into a couple of places. Just going fishing here. Oh, okay. There's something down there. Something going on down in that part of the world. Yeah, okay, good. That's, that's something. Except I'm not sure I'm doing anything to him right now. I mean, I'm... I'm Clearly, he's in the splash radius, but I'm not sure if it's actually doing any real damage to him. Right. Honestly, if I burn Red Glare's ammo entirely, 
just clearing out Blister and these guys, I'll consider it worth it. There's still bloody three of them down there. And I've no idea where they are, because I cannot properly see. Right, I need to creep a bit closer, because right now I can't... I have no idea what I'm actually firing at. And that I kind of need to, to know. Uh, if I'm up here on this rubble, I might actually have a... Okay, that doesn't help me. Well, okay, it does kind of help me, actually. I now know Blister's that guy up there behind there. There's one guy over here. Oh, Blister's on the move. Blister's on the move. Oh... Oh. Oh. Apparently I would theoretically have a shot at him if I wanted to. Ah, screw it. Go, 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 go. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Ha ha. There you are, you mad bastard. Right, well, I've got some shots at you now. I think he just used a stim pack to get. Right, well, his head's crippled at least. The thing about Blister is Blister's using a flamer. A flamer is effectively just a melee weapon with airs and graces, isn't it? And now I think he's holding still. Yeah, I think you are, my good man. And that means I can actually get some shots at you now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is working just fine. Lovely. Just don't let him heal up. Or actually, you know, he probably can't stop him healing up. But I can at least just keep shooting him. Reload faster before he moves. He's over to... I think he's moved over to there. Yeah, that's him. All right. Just get those rockets in on him. Also, there's a hunter over there. Blister's nearly... Nearly looking weaker. No, that was a total miss. Right, hit him there. And keep going. That might be a hunter, not Blister. <laughs> I think I'm shooting a different one right now. Right, Blister's backing off. Blister's backing off, but he's looking very, very weak. Oh, there he is. No, no, he's moving forward again. That's good. That's a good couple of shots. I'm literally out of ammo. I've used over 100 rockets and he's not dead. Sniper rifle it is. Right, shot. Shot. Just wait for the random sway. He's almost dead. He's so almost dead. Come on. Right in the groin. Just one more. Come on, this way. This way. Darn it. Oh, yes. He's only worth flipping 45 XP. You're a flipping named one, you bastard. Right. There's two more left. Two more left. I'm going over to Plasma Rifle. I'm going to see if I can just lure one of them out. I mean, I should be looking directly at one of them right now. I mean, he's probably behind that fire truck. The other one is... Actually, he should be really close. How have I not seen you yet? And why are you not coming out to fight? Okay, that's a concern. You should be right here. Literally right... Okay, what the... Hello? The... Ah! Okay, I was expecting you to be cowering. But all right. How about we just go for two shots to your weapon? Just to get that hopefully down to zero condition. No, now he's going to murder me. Okay, well, that's good. That's that's marvellously good news. Right, back away. That's defence saves me for the time being. Let's go back over to the nail gun and get him disarmed. I've only got 56 flipping nails left, by the way. Actually, he's not... He's not following me. This is intriguing. I could just run straight past him. But, ah, but then I wouldn't get the corpse. I would like the corpse. He's... Okay, he's weirdly refusing to follow. You know what? Fine. If you're going to basically stand perfectly still, I've got a plan. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a bad plan because that guy's got a big gun and hates me. Right. Well, you're in a better position to potentially be... Got shot in the back there. Well done. Ooh, nice dramatic death angle on my hand. Right. Let's try this again. But this time, we're going to be using some lovely, lovely grenades. Plasma grenades to be... Ooh, I need to save some of these, actually. No, I need to save the plasma grenades. Normal frag grenades work pretty well too. Right, let's clear out this guy with a double frag if we can. Hello! Right, you over there. Let's just go for a double frag for you. That will hopefully cripple you a bit. Right, lovely. So that's your legs crippled. That's defense is doing me the world of good right now. This won't kill him. But it will hopefully stagger him while he's... No, he's not staggered right now. That's fine. Still, some good work was just done there. And hopefully, that commotion will draw out the other lad who will now follow me and potentially show himself so I can pick off the other guy with a sniper rifle. Because last time I went and took care of this guy, the other guy eventually came up top. Then I can just snipe him from afar. No? Not making an appearance today? That's fine. Ooh, I'll tell you what I've got here. Dynamite! <laughs> Don't often use that in this game, but screw it. It's an explosive. It'll do the flipping job against you bastards. Right, hello over there. You're still over here, are you? Right, so, double dynamite. Let's just quickly light that. 
Toss that in, and boom. Right, second set of dynamite. That's defense. Keep going on for the minute, please. Right, more dynamite, and... Right, that's you taken care of. <laughs> this is extremely sophisticated combat tactics right here. Tossing dynamite at people. Right, where's the last guy? Because in a perfect world, I'd like everyone dead, because I might be able to get some really good stuff off the corpse of Blister, one of the special lads. But actually, yeah, I want to loot around in general because some of you guys are going to have flipping, uh... Yeah, some of you guys might just... Ooh, hang on. You wouldn't happen to be close enough to... No. No, he's more like there, so he's not going to be close enough to me to detonate the, the second one. Where are you? Yeah where, yeah, where are you? I know you're kind of yelling at me. There you go. Right, you've got a... you got a sniper rifle, do you? Right, so, let's just toss all the dynamites in the world at him. See how that goes. He's going to fire at me. That's defense will do some good work. He might kill me before I can actually get this done. <laughs> there we are. And hopefully you'll be staggered a little bit there. And one final bit of... I might just... No, I didn't just die. I thought that was the death camera. Right. He's still not dead, which is a problem because I almost am. No, he's one of those. He's one of the ones that's got mysterious, terrifying, regenerative powers that is basically unkillable. Right, well, I've got a flare gun and some ammo there. Ah, that'll be a guaranteed flare gun. And he's throwing grenades at me. Right, well, that's good. This is all very, very good indeed. And when I say good, I mean bad. Right, is there anything actually worth getting back here? Uh, let's just see. We've got... I'm just going to quickly check off. This is probably going to go wrong. Right, there's some rockets, which would be nice. Um, the rest of it is probably not so much. You're going to murder me. Right, probably the best thing I can do for him is just basically... Yeah, knock the weapon out of his hands and then just say, screw it, good luck unarming me to death. At that point, it'll just be a stalemate. Right, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. Hello! Right, so, I've got a surprise for you. Right, just go for that. Ah, there we go. Oh, blimey! What the... Something exploded like crazy there. Possibly he just shot me really hard. No, this plan's got legs. This plan has legs, all right? Just needs a bit of practice. There we go. Right, one, two, three. Oh, what the? Wait, what? Why did you just explode? What? What the hell? I think he might have pulled out a grenade and I immediately shot it by accident. Also, he seems to have lost his regenerative abilities. Oh, no, he's he's just tossing more grenades at me. Yeah, I think we, he detonated a, a thing on him, but now he's got... What are you armed with now? I don't... Uh-oh. I think he just picked up Blister's thing. That's less good. Uh, Blister's got a... Uh... No, I've just shot it out of his hands. Now he's got nothing at all. Now he's just standing there trying to be a badass. Bad idea if you've not got a gun and the other guy's got a plasma rifle. Uh, and down he goes. Whew. Right. Flamer. Flamer, he tried to grab the flamer there. Good. Cleared you out. Ah, you tried to get the flare gun in order to use the... You know, to use the ammo in it to power the flamer that you got off the other guy. Right, okay. Now, the question is, where's... Where did Blister die? Blister was killed... I think he was standing somewhere around here. The corpse shouldn't have disappeared, but it might have done. Which is a shame, because I think the, the four named Mark men, of which Blister is the first, have special... They've got special bits and pieces to them, like special gear, special helmets and stuff. So it would have been nice to loot his corpse, but the sheer volume of rockets flying around mean, unfortunately, we might have the opportunity to on this occasion. I mean, he got the flamer from somewhere, which would suggest there was a... a corpse. And I swear Blister was standing around here-ish at the point when he died. No, tragically no sign of the corpse as far as I can tell. So in which case, luckily, with everyone dead, that does at least give me the opportunity to loot literally everywhere, which is good. Help myself to, yes, all of the ammo and more rockets for red glare. I uh, can't get in there, however. There's a way to, yeah, this way is you just go up the stairs to get up to here. That's fine. Anything good? Ah, more flipping crates. Yes. Always want to grab the crates. And also, that is... Uh, Double rocket canister. I'm back up to like 50 rockets already, which is really, really good. So that's very, very nice indeed, yeah, actually. Let's just check that and reload the red glare while we're actually uh, checking on that. We're up to... Okay, not quite that many, but 40-odd uh, total. 40-odd total is pretty good. You know, what I should probably do is use the red glare at night. It's much easier to see what's going on at night. In the daytime, it's a little bit on the tricky side. Now, nice safe distance. We need to get that thing exploded over there. That warhead, that's going to open up the path. 
There we go. Number five goes down. Lovely. And a few more explosions as cars go kaboom as well. Very, very nice indeed. And a few rads, but everything should be broadly okay. Yes, I think everything is now safe here. Lovely. Though, before we go any further, make sure we just go and pick up Edie. Of course, we did all of that without Edie. Edie was just guarding my back. Unfortunately, slightly unconscious for most of the time. Way back over there at the Marked Men Security House thing. You know what I should have actually just used during that whole section? I really should have used Steady. Steady is, you know, specifically designed to let people aim stuff more easily than they'd be able to otherwise. So I should have just done a dose of Steady, which is everywhere in this DLC. Right, remember Steady exists. Steady's good. And it doesn't matter if I get addicted, I could just nip back to the auto dog. So that's okay. Right, Edie back with me. Now, this is where things get interesting. Really interesting, because we've proved we're now capable of dealing with marked men using some slightly unconventional tactics. We're not really killing them anymore. We're kind of like, you know, disarming them using explosives, grenades overwhelmingly, all that sort of good stuff. Let's just cut through here nice and quick. Don't forget to drop down to the bottom, by the way, because there's a whole bunch of crates here and also first aid kits too. Once the rad's clear, it's not dangerous at all. I get myself, ah, oh, you see, loads of rockets. Ah, oh, like 25 rockets for coming down here. So make sure to actually drop down under the bridge before you actually proceed onwards because, yeah, there's some good stuff down there. Every military crate is precious. And we have made it to the collapsed overpass tunnel entrance. Now, inside this place is going to be what are called tunnelers. Tunnelers are the devil. They are fast, dangerous, their claws inflict a really, really nasty, strong, virulent poison thing. And they come in big numbers. And they will utterly tear you apart. However... They are not quite the boogeymen people sometimes say. The thing about the tunnelers is, uh, like pretty much every creature with the exception of rad scorpions and death claws, they've got zero damage threshold. There is zero damage threshold on these guys, which means they are relatively easy to kill with fast firing weapons with really high DPS but low damage. And would you believe I've actually got several of those with plenty of armor, or I did. I've kind of run out of nails. <laughs> For the nail gun, to be honest. But I do have the flipping arc welder. If I absolutely had to. Because yeah, this thing's got a DPS of... Actually, you know what? The DPS is flipping 49. It's not that good. Uh, admittedly, you can multiply that by, I think, 3 for robots. Which is really good. So, probably we should just start dumping that. Because I don't think... Actually, no. There might be like... There's going to be like 2 or 3 more sentry bots in the whole run. It's worth kind of keeping onto one of those just for that. But really, honestly... We don't need to worry about that. What we need to do instead is just use the flare gun. Because the thing about the flare gun is... Flare gun's interesting. It fires... Basically, if I fire that thing, it uses all 10 rounds of flame of fuel in one go. Then reload. So basically, what I can do with this thing is I can fire 42 flares. Well, 43 flares, technically. I can fire 43 flares, and then we're out of flame of fuel. Now, that's a healthy, healthy amount. Because the uh, this thing, while it doesn't do much in the way of damage, though it does actually put a little bit of uh, damage onto it. It's minus 1 per second for 10 seconds. Not exactly great, to be perfectly honest. It has the unique property of frightening abominations. Abominations is basically anything that's an animal that doesn't really look much like an animal. And that, of course, includes the tunnelers. So basically, hit a tunneler with a flare and it will run away for 10 seconds. And that is very, very useful because, honestly, most of the tunnelers in this DLC, we won't be fighting. If they get in our way, we scare them off with a flare gun. Other than that, we just run straight through. Basically, what I refer to as the completely reasonably what you would realistically do tactic. Why would you ever fight a tunneler when you just fire a flare gun and then run like hell? Which is pretty much what we're going to be trying to do. But if I happen to have a really high DPS weapon... I mean, the alternative, by the way, is flashbangs, which specifically can frenzy tunnels and make them turn each other. We'll be needing those later. This isn't really the right time for it. But i tell you what, just for fun, I'm going to see if we can at least kill one of them. So I'm going to get out the tri-beam laser rifle as a starting point, because that's got really high DPS. As it's a shotgun, it's not so good against tough enemies like marked men, but against these bastards, oh, it's really, really damn good. So I'm going to see if we can kill at least one before we go into Operation Cowardice. Right, in we flipping go. There's even a nice pool of blood here, just let you know. Oh, and a keep out sign. Just to let you know, this is madness, don't come here, you mad lunatic. And that's supposed to be a warning for experienced couriers. Ooh, I'll take a duffel bag, though. Yep, gladly take some meals ready to eat. In we flipping go, then. I don't believe it. Grant actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damned efficiency guidelines. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject 
fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the Colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, hi Eddie. So a bit more backstory there. Whitley was indeed very protective of his iBots. Happy beeping. I can't believe they'd approve that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machines. Probably. <laughs> Haven't actually, to be honest. I've got amnesia and then basically I ran straight here and I guess I technically ran into Victor but I didn't actually speak to him. Then I met you. So this is, you know, a bit false and I'm lying just to make you feel better but whatever. Paint beeping. Indeed, I see why you left that place. Wistful beeping. I hope the bastards got what was coming to them. Sad beeping. Let's press on. Happy beeping. If only all conversations in game could be like this. Ah! There's a death claw, by the way. Dangerous, dangerous death claw. And just a second. We will see him running there. And get immediately shanked by a flipping tunneler. So yes, the tunnelers we're just establishing, by the way, these guys can take on and win against death claws. Not really one-on-one, -on -one, to be honest, but a group of them definitely could. Now, through we go. Where's the first one? I think the first one actually pops out. Yeah, here we are. I think he's just running away. He's not a real one. You can actually nail him with like a sneak attack critical to get rid of him. We've got ourselves... Ah! Nails. That's actually pretty bloody useful. Grab the nail gun as well. And an actual NCR trooper. Two flashbangs. And mission orders. Ah! Probably a very useful guide in how to deal with these bastards. Early intelligence suggests the tunnels are only sparsely populated by small subterranean semi-humanoids which are easily cowed by bright lights and loud noises. So they've been issued flashbang grenades for this purpose. It is expected to meet minimal resistance. Oh flipping dear. Not quite guys. Not quite. Still, good attempt. Good attempt. Well done for thinking that might work. Indeed, a dead death claw right here. Could help myself to a death claw hand. Don't really need it. Right. I'm really hoping the first one shows up on his own, so we can just take care of him one-on-one, -on -one just to demonstrate how to deal with them. After that, well, we're just running. Through we go, through we go, through we go. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Just need, ideally just one. Yeah, just one. Just one. Hello? Hello? I just want one to pop up. If it's two, we could be in a bit of trouble here. I can't remember whether you fight the first one. I mean, logically, you would fight the first one alone. Yes, hello? Right, so, yeah, you see there? That there is a hulking tunneler. And this thing is already quite badly damaged. And it's lost its head. Now, admittedly, I've just spent quite a lot of... How on earth was that only nine experience? How is that nine experience? That was a flipping hulking tunneler. All right, fine, whatever. Let's just take the cave fungus. It's quite useful. And a tunneler hide, which as far as I know, doesn't do anything. It's not even that valuable, so whatever. It's not like the gecko hides in uh, Honest Hearts. We can use it to make special tunneler armor. As badass as that would be. No, that's not a thing. And also, I'm almost out of microfusion cells. So this probably isn't going to work. Instead, it's time to go to Operation Flare Gun. But basically, we just run fast as we can. Anything directly in my way gets hit with a VAT shot with this thing. Assuming I can actually hang on. What's the what's the requirement for this? It is... Oh, good. It's energy zero, strength three. So, actually, I can accurately aim this thing, which is a bloody relief. But, yeah, I think you've also seen that shotguns and, uh, yeah, rapid-fire weapons. Like, ironically, the nail cut, weirdly, works really well. Let's just get out of here, shall we? Start flipping running. Do not, if one of them's basically spawning and you can get behind it, just basically run. Uh, ED will do an excellent job running distraction for you. And I'm wearing this riot gear, which will do a pretty good job. Just keep flipping going. They're going to keep spawning. ED's unconscious at this point, so ED's down and out for the count right now. Straight through here, straight through here, straight through here. There's some rads. Uh, use, obviously, you know, the train to your advantage because they can't really jump through. Neither can I! Neither can- Oh, yes, I can! Yes, I can! Yes, I can! You know what? Just to kind of rub it in, I'm going to grab two doctor's bags on the way out. Right, and off we go. That wasn't the exit. That's not the exit! Okay, I'm almost dead. Right, go and go. Right, so one. No, they killed me. Fun. That wasn't the exit. I ran to the wrong area. I should probably be a little bit more, you know, happy to just use this. Okay, if you actually spawned yet, technically. Yeah, good enough. Right. Shot to the face. Right. The abomination panics and fleets. I've also just set myself on fire. So that's good. Uh, so he's just going to run around like crazy. That's good. 
Any more will start popping up soon. Any minute now. Any second we'll get the rest of them. Actually, where are the rest of them? I don't know. They might have spawned over there. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait. Okay, you've spawned. Do I get a clean shot? Okay, I've got a clean shot at you. Do I have a clean shot at you? Uh, good enough. Right, go. How did you miss 95? Right, that's not good. Uh, he's on fire, but I'm watching if he's actually fleeing because he's not... It looks like he is. Yeah, it looks like actually he was hitting the radius. So that's good enough. Right through here. This is the correct way out, though. <laughs> this is the right way out. Any more? Oh, yeah. More yet, though. Right, you're a tunneler. So let's just quickly shoot you in the head with a flare just to get rid of you. One in the arm will do the job. And one over to you as well because basically screw tunnelers. I should just run. I should just get to the exit right now, but whatever. I don't have the um, anything for that. He's fleeing. Right, go. And enter the high road. Job done. That's the pass taken care of. There you are. You went quiet for a time. And that signal came in strong from your machine, like a heartbeat. Made your way through old world towns, the tunnels that join them. Now, the high road. For all you've seen behind you, there's worse along this stretch. Death claws hunt the marked men. And they also hunt. What burrows below. And indeed, what burrows below. You mean the creatures we just saw there, Ulysses? Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky. Showed them the world above. And the scent of new prey. Be a slower death for the Mojave than bombs and fire. But they'll come for its people. From where they least expect. Below. And indeed, with Science 65, I can actually pick up what he's saying there. So, yes, indeed, radiation from the war might have created them, detonations, quakes caused them to surface, and he's got a rather negative view of the future of the Mojave, that sooner or later, they'll tunnel deeper and deeper and further and further, and they'll start emerging out into the Mojave itself, where there's no one that can really stop them. So, uh, rather negative view of the future there. Makes sense. Truth favours that. Matches the history of this place. Were signs they were here for a long time, before marked men, before what happened to the divide it cracked their sky. If so, they were buried deep. Might have been born the day America's embers started to settle. Seen worse things twisted by radiation. And indeed, sadly, I can't actually uh, ask him what's going on with a slower death for the Mojave because, yes, indeed, I don't have the survival. But I'll ask him anyway, just to see if he gives me, like, you know, a bit of a pity answer. Mojave needs to survive itself first. Does that. Tunnelers will be next on the list. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years. Probably less. They breed fast, hunting groups. More than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave. Once they draw blood. Seen them tear apart death claws. Death claw might get some, but the rest will swarm it, tear it apart, like Denver hounds. Now, Denver hounds, you say? Denver, what exactly is one of those then? Another city fallen to nations in the east. Not important. Doubt you'll ever walk that far. You'd need the land to sustain you. Now, let's get back to the marked men and Hopeville. So. NCR were fighting alongside those with Legion. He's already kind of vaguely hinted at this, saying that obviously, you know, they've got a bigger, more common enemy now, I suppose, the Divide itself. So, uh, let's see if he's got any more details for us. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield, now turned against the Divide. Few survived. Intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaiser, fear of the Legion. So NCR were here when the bombs went off, creating the divide. But why exactly? The why of it. Hoover, damn. The bear, NCR, couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15, Cayman, both bad enough. Kimbo, Kaiser, House. You'd think that our world was that wall, cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaiser could. 
could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, bleed it, starve it. That kind of murder, it's what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the divide belongs to history. And of course, we kind of get a hint there that Ulysses was in fact one of the very first scouts that actually saw the dam and reported it back to Caesar and possibly regrets that now, given uh, fighting over it has led to some very, very unfortunate things. Now, the Marksman in Hopeville, strange masks and weird blades. They bear false versions of Legate the Muse's mask, the one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal, not with care and strength. But with hate, keeps them anchored, crude, effective, like the blades they carry, distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. So of course the blade of the west that we've seen, like the blade of the east that the legate himself holds, and the other marked men had NCR gear. For the two-headed bear, NCR. They don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their mines and explosives, guns. That is their religion. Death from afar. Take pride in it. And as long as you found at least one of the recordings of Ulysses, you can now ask him about those. The tapes? <laughs> Didn't think those would be found. You know the divide better than I thought. Had tech from the big empty. Recorder a woman gave me. Didn't survive the road. On its last legs. Cast it and the tapes aside. Weren't worth the words anyway. Not like I'd forget what happened. If you heard them. Nothing but ramblings. Reminders for a man who doesn't need them. Probably more lying from here to the divide. And with a high enough speech, we'd ask him a bit more, but sadly, we cannot right now. So, the high road, where does it go, Ulysses? At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you, it can open it, wake it up, like it did the one in Hopeville. And sadly, not quite a perception. If I'd remember this, I could have actually uh, taken some Mentat to get perception up but you sound angry at the machine I'm traveling with for some reason. When I speak in anger, courier, you'll know it. Your machine, worth no more hate than any other machine. Well, there's definitely more there he's not telling us, but we'll get to that in time. Now, when we first spoke in Hopeville, you mentioned you'd sworn not to kill me. Care to explain? You know the why of it. If you don't, I do. And that's Enough. Shows trust only walks so far west. Earned more than that, though, getting this far. We walk the same road, carry the same colors. Can't break that by making the road red. Want more than that? Walk the divide. Answers will come closer you get to home. You and that machine. And honestly, I'm not convinced this road actually leads anywhere. It just seems to be nothing but devastation, Ulysses. Many in the Mali think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life. A town farther west. Not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name, the Divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. Took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the Divide's in the other direction. 
And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. And suddenly we actually get a bit more information about my own past that I lost when Benny shot me in the head. So you're saying I walked this road once from another direction, from west to east, to home. All roads lead back to one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe. But home. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind. A moment where you know who you are, the history of it. And they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just a job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for a place that hard unless it's home. And there's a second reference to my past there, the little achievement working its way up to the full six. I'm not convinced that necessarily means anything. I've indeed walked a lot of hard roads. That doesn't mean this is my home any more than any other place. It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are, proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. And sounds to me like you're making an awful lot of assumptions about all this, Ulysses. No. Recounting history. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, bearing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun, and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. And there we are up to level 6. Very, very nice indeed. Now, I want to get lockpick up to 50. I've got my reasons for that. And as for the remaining two points... Explosive seems like a very good thing to me. Lovely, and we are up to another perk as well. Now, what have we got here? Ah! Mad Bomber just became available. Special explosives recipes unlocked for me. Now, is that going to be that worth it to me? Toughness is never a bad idea. Plus three to DT. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. Let's go all in on the explosives. Mad Bomber. Why the bloody hell not, eh? Right. Good. So, we've made it out of there. The tunnelers don't follow, which is fortunate. And now we've got something brand new ahead of us, which is we have got flipping the second of the named marked men. This one is... Bonesaw? No, the next one's Bonesaw. I can't remember what this one's called. This guy's got a really, really rapid-fire shoulder-mounted machine gun cannon thingy. So basically, we want that to not be in his hands. And how do we make things not be in people's hands? Why we shoot them with the nail gun, of course. So, that's probably not a terrible starting point. Let's try this. This might take a few attempts, because we're basically going to come over the hill there, and there's going to be two guys in front of me, one of which is going to be a really, really nasty, dangerous piece of work. I mean, alternatively, I could just plasma... No, you know what? It's safer just to plasma grenade him. I'm just going to go straight over to plasma grenades. I did save plasma grenades for just this moment, so... Get in there, 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 get in there. No, not you. Not you. Hello. You're the beast. Yeah, that's it. It's beast. Right. Right. Three. Hope for a critical. I'm just being stabbed in the rear. Hopefully we'll kind of cripple some stuff. Right, so we've got a cripple going on. He's just shooting me. And the other guy's just stabbed me too. Hopefully Edie will keep him busy. And you're hiding, aren't you? Gosh darn it, you're hiding now. 
so we're not going to do much to you. Now, I don't need to get out of here. Oh, now you pop out. I'm just going to die immediately, I think. No, I'm already dead, in fact. Marvelous. Right, I need to take out the other guy first. So we need to basically get down here. Ah, already coming. Right, ED. One of them needs to go down immediately. Ah, that's a flipping grenade. Oh, bloody hell. Well, that's a good start. That was a really good grenade, by the way. <laughs> well done. Luckily, that guy seems to have, like, no weapons. He's got, like, the grenade. Yeah, other than that, he's just got nothing else. So, uh, this has gone horribly wrong. Let's just quickly do a doctor's bag, perhaps. There we are. That's all the doctor's bags I've got. And I'm running low on stim packs, too. Right, get close to him while he's busy with ED. And my guns are not doing much, unfortunately. Right, I need something rapid fire that I've got tons of ammo for. Uh, screw it, the Ark Welder might actually do the job here. Not a great job, but it'll do a bit of a job. Oh, now Edie's unconscious. Right, this is not going to work at all, is it? No, well, actually, you've got a basic knife. Why have you got a basic knife? Let's just quickly see if we can just cripple your arms or whatever. Actually, legs. We want the legs, don't we? We want to get your legs down and stop it. Stop stabbing me, you bastard. And now Beast is on top of me. No, this has gone totally wrong. I could use the dynamite on this guy. I've got three dynamites spare, but he's going to run at me. And now I'm going to blow myself up. Yeah, I'm now going to blow myself up there. Beautiful. Right, I need something bigger and bulkier. Red glare. Let's go for some flipping red glare here. Very, very nice indeed. Hello there, red glare. Right, down over here. Already in danger. Right, I need to take you out before you actually start causing trouble. Right, 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 right. I think your grenade's gone over the top of me. Right, I think he's already crippled. That works. Now get out of there and let Edie take some of the pain for the time being. No, he's really determined to go for me, which is unfortunate. Right, where's the where's the other guy? Uh, are you going for Edie? No, still not going for Edie. Right. Jump over the top. Oh, now he's flipping on top of me. Right. And that shoulder mounted thing is dangerous. Right. Okay. Just stop coming after me, you absolute git. Now jump around the back here. No, 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 no. Oh, you're dead now. Well, that's good. Right. Edie's gone up there to hopefully take care of that guy. No, no, Edie hasn't. Right. Edie. Go up there. He's dead at least. Need to get some healing going on here. Uh, what have I got? Actually, you know what? Just drink some Nuka-Cola. That'll totally help at this exact moment in time. Lovely. Right. He's just firing down at me. But I've got some DT. Not the worst thing in the world, to be honest. I should probably just go for something. Okay. He decided not to get involved, which is hilarious. Good, good. Actually, he's got a rapid-fire weapon. This here is the time for Medex. Right, now time to just run up to him using as much cover as I can. I need to get point blank range to basically break his gun. His gun needs to be broken with the nail thing. And boom, 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 boom. Right, round the side. Round the side, round the side, round the side. Good, he's going for ED. No, don't back off, you don't back off. Stop running away. Right, I've got actually a good shot at that thing. So, boom, 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 boom. Break it, just break it, just keep breaking it. And it's not quite broken yet, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, it's still got some condition on it. Just keep going for it. Just keep focusing on that thing. It's nearly broken, damn it. Right, hold still. Oh, I'm out of nails. Right, let him get round here so I've got a good shot at him. Now, now I can basically get some grenades in on him. That should hopefully do some damage to him. But this guy's bloody tough. Right, one grenade. No, Edie, don't get that close. I think I might be in a bit of trouble myself. I might be in a bit too close to him. Right, and he's... Oh, what the heck? He's he's not dead, but I think I've managed to... Oh, what? Whoa, 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 Okay, he just went nuts there, but that's fine. Right, just get some healing going on here. Red glare out. Okay, battle of the big guns. Boom, 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 boom. This does nothing to him. Does nothing at all. The little flipping do... 13 left. 13 left. Edie's still just distracting admirably for me right now. Right, just keep firing rockets at him. Sooner or later he'll die. Oh, I think Edie's down at last. Right, but he's actually down to very little at this point. Right. One good plasma grenade will finish him off, but I need to know him in a position where he's not going to dodge out the way. That'll do. That'll flip in do. Right there. 95% chance. Don't die. Vats defense protect me. Oh, yes. I'm crippled again, but it's fine. Everything's okay. Right, well, that thing was not quite broken. That thing took a hell of a pound and it just refused to break. Just flipping refused. It's good. It's good, by the way. It's uh, it's very, very powerful. So I will totally be taking that for myself, even though its strength requirement is way higher than I've got. Yeah, damage 14. Takes the 10 millimeter, which I have 
Honestly, not that much off, but he drops some as well. Human Flash, lovely. And also, we have got ourselves some special stuff here. So, uh, DT10, melee weapons, no, I can do without that. This thing is pretty good. DT3, crit chance plus two. Quite frankly, I'll take that just for that. Lovely. Right, might by now be a new day. Just in case it is. ED, hang on, ED. Hold still. Uh, let's chat for some repair, because this thing can be really powerful against things like uh, tunnelers. Yep, repair that. Lovely. That thing's up to a better condition. Nice. And now up to, yeah, DPS 134. Good. Against, uh, yeah, enemies who have got not much in the web. Ooh, satchel charges. Okay. That's the first satchel charge we've seen. Oh, it's a second one. I like the fact there's a second one. Right, let's just repair one of them to repair the other. Nice. Damage now at 21. Respectable DPS 148. This thing... Is a very, very good device. And there's some more flame of fuel to top up my uh, probable lack of that after dealing with some of the flipping satchel charge box. Oh, and I'm now at average. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Satchel charge times three. Oh, yes. Now, these are basically plasma mines, but better. So, damage 200, ridiculously powerful. Also, the um, the fuse on them is ridiculously short. It's like half a second. In fact, actually, um, they have actually confirmed, the development team did actually say at one point in an interview, apparently there was a commissary there, I just totally missed it. Uh, they did confirm in an interview that, uh, yeah, like literally the week before the game shipped, they actually changed it so the power was doubled and the fuse was halved. So, it's probably more powerful than it really should be. Cause they didn't really have much time to balance test the damn thing, but screw it, it's amazing. It'll help me out on this occasion. Right, speaking of which, I can probably sell some stuff to this lovely, lovely little terminal right here. And would you believe it's managed to regenerate its cap? By any chance it regenerated anything else? No. Tragically not, it's still got all the same stuff there. Ah, no, it's definitely regenerated its aid. Right, I'll be having all of that, thank you. Literally, no, screw it. I'm literally having, if it's aid, I'm having it. And we also have the red glare mods here. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> Yes, yeah, some of these are very expensive and not necessarily that useful because none of them increase the power. Technically, the speed of the rocket's kind of there for, and like the fire rate, I suppose, like increases the DPS and accuracy, kind of unofficially, I suppose. Any chance that the new ammo is also shown? Oh, yes. Yeah, you know what? I'll buy 900 nails and 47 rockets. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Now, I've got plenty to trade. I will also take, yeah, all of the 10 millimeter you're selling. I've burnt a lot of money, even having sold everything I've got that's running spare right now. But, actually, it's fine. Oh, also, I've just got uh, selling a large number of items through bartering. That's fine. You know what? I'm just going to have all your stuff. Because this stuff's going to be worth an awful, awful flipping lot. So, I'll be having that too. That I don't actually want for anything. So, I'll sell it. Yeah, I've definitely got no reason to want that. Damage threshold 10 for melee and strength. No, that's not that good. We'll sell that. Ah, but don't get too confident because there's more trouble going on yet. In particular, oh, there's loads of trouble, in fact. Right, there's way more trouble than I was expecting. I thought we'd have a little break, but no, no, something else has just rolled up. Oh, it's you guys with arc welders. Well, that's fine. Arc welders aren't the worst thing in the world at all. In fact, let's give this new gun a roll out. Hello over there. And... Okay, we've managed to get the gun out of your hand. That'll flip and do. Yeah, you know what? You try taking that thing on uh, literally unarmed. Why don't you just give that a go there? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we can handle that. That's working pretty well. Also, a new arc quadra. I'll sell that too, thanks. Still not done either. There's something else up ahead. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few marked men on this road. But there's something else as well. If we just uh, peer ahead with a scope over to the right there. Hang on. Is he in position yet? Not... Not quite yet. Let's just move forward a little bit. A bit further forward there. Nothing yet. Okay. Okay, we might have missed him on this occasion. But Ulysses pops up in the windows of that building, which you cannot actually get to. We might yet run it. Oh, no. Nope. You can see him right there. And you know he's there because he shows up on the compass as a yellow mark. You can't shoot him. He can't shoot him. He takes no damage and he disappears after you see him. He'll show up at various points. Now, this is very, very important. It's really important to understanding the plot of this DLC properly that you actually recognise he's following you around. Because the way he tells the story, he's like, oh yeah, I'm right at the end of the road and you need to travel to get to me and diddly diddly d. And various things he says are going to back that up, but he's not. He's lying. Because you constantly see him at a couple of points during this DLC 
just following you around and watching you. So uh, keep that in mind because it's a very, very important and interesting point that that happens. Now, where's the guy we're looking for? Oh, I see a guy there. And would you believe, I think he happens to be right next to a nice explodey thing. Laser detonator, 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 and no one on fire. And hopefully we just did some damage to that guy. Drink some more Nuka to get some flipping healing going on here. I'm in flipping danger. Back over to the shoulder mounted thing. That worked pretty well. Now, any chance we actually managed to hit you? Oh, no. You've decided to show up with a flare gun, have you? Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. This gun can pretty much start tearing through marked men. The moment you get this thing, you're in much, much better shape. Now, there's technically someone hostile over there. But because of the enhanced sensor perk, he might be much further away than you're expecting. Most important thing, grab the flame of fuel. Very important that you grab the flipping flame of fuel because we're going to be needing the flare gun again yet. Very much. Now, it's also very easy. I miss this a lot. I miss this an awful, awful lot. By the way, ED, you just stay here for the time being, all right? You just stay here because there is a little kind of side air up here that I always walk straight past repeatedly. I never realized this was here for a long time. But it's kind of important, uh, which is if we go up here... One, there's... I can't remember if there's a run up there. I think there might be one person who spawns up there. Let's so quickly crack open these boxes. Five flashbangs. Honestly, I've got too many at the minute, but better than not. Now just work our way up here. This doesn't really look like you should be able to climb it, but it's actually pretty easy to climb, so it's fine. And one up here. You've potentially got, like, you know, a semi-decent sniping spot for seeing the bit of the high road that's up ahead. Potentially can be of use, but... It's not so much about that, it's more about... Forgot there were mines there. And indeed, not just mines, say hello to satchel charges starting to be laid. They are much harder to spot than mines because they really blend in a lot faster. And the fuse is... Yeah, the fuse is a lot shorter, as you can see there. Right. Stand up. We might be able to... No. That one's really well placed, by the way. That one's a real troll one. And also, I've got a really good death fall there. Lovely. You know what? I'm just going to go round this way and ignore that bloody troll one right there. Welcome to the crow's nest. <laughs> Where you'll see uh, not actually the corpse there of uh, Ulysses, unfortunately. No, instead, this is NCR Riot Control. This is very, very good indeed because he has got advanced riot gear, which is much more useful because it has the... Well, admittedly, the, the DT is exactly the same. You'll see there it's 20 versus my season 20. Though actually, my one might have been worn down a bit by now. So, uh, actually, no, it is still 20. You don't get much difference, to be honest. But it's got advanced in the title and explosives plus 10 is better. The helmet's nicer as well. A really nice little, yeah, sneak sight helmet. Perception plus 2. Perception plus 2 would be lovely. But to be honest, I'd rather have critical chance plus 2. And 2 DT is not going to make the biggest difference in the world. So, we are totally just going to uh, take that right now and put on some advanced right gear it looks very similar to be honest but yeah the uh, it definitely kind of suits me a bit better because that gets my skills up to explosives at 55 explosives 55 is a nice sort of thing right there you can see there of course this guy was actually on his way to becoming a ghoul when he died here but that's not just what's up here we've also got a bunch of okay there were apparently more flipping satchel charges yet. Don't worry, it's fine. More satchel charges. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see a box of satchel charges, quite frankly. More ammo boxes as well. Loads of 10mm, bloody useful. Get myself a duffel bag. May as well help myself to all of this. And we've got ourselves a Ulysses Log 17-16. Now, I don't want to read that just yet, because it's not actually the next one. No, 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 no. We missed one earlier that I didn't have access to. But now I flipping do. So I'm not about to die, am I? Hopefully flipping not. This feels more like the library, to be honest. Ooh, a skill magazine. That's always welcome. Now, more rockets, first aid kits. Yep, this will do very, very nicely indeed. More sniper rifles. Good condition one. Okay, why am I using auto-inject stim packs? Stop it. Save them for when we need them, please. Thank you very much indeed. Sniper rifle, good condition. I think I've already got one in good condition, though, so I think we're okay for the time being. I might just sell that one in a moment. You know what, screw it. We're okay for money. Just sell that. Get a really good sniper rifle going on over there. And from this angle, we might actually be able to get to that one nice and quick. No, let's just leave that one. Let's just leave that alone. 
So, instead of doing that, let's just quickly head back the way we came via the rougher path that does work, right? Is this gonna is this gonna work? Am I about to die? I'm probably about to die. Hang on, just see if I can New Vegas my way up to- No, it's fine! Everything's under control, good. Right, round here, back down the safe way, lovely. Pick up Edie. Edie, you're coming with me, thank you. And now we want to actually back off for a moment here and not go further down the high road. At this point, we're into Deathclaw territory, which is fun. That's great fun. Deathclaws are always fun, especially as Lonesome Road Deathclaws are special Deathclaws that are even more nasty than the existing ones in the Mojave. So, you know, more and more flipping fun. Still, down here, and while we're still technically in caution, because in this DLC you're never not bloody in caution, we probably are now far enough away that we're allowed to fast travel, which is bloody useful. And that's because I want to fast travel back to the Marked Men Supply Outpost. So you may remember this area, it just had a uh, warhead in it that we've already blown up, so don't worry about that. But if we just head out of this direction, and then turn to the right in a second, there is an average locked gate. We couldn't open it before, we now flipping can. There we go, another 36 experience for getting into the back here. Nice little area, lovely indeed. And we've got ourselves ham radio, a bed, someone's last stand was here. I'm guessing where they decided to crawl away to die. This area is very, very important because uh, Ulysses Log 17-21. Lovely. Now this is, actually I've never been sure of the numbering system, but this is technically the second one you're going to find. Because it's just like, you know, the first one's way over there right by the beginning. Then you find 17-21. Weirdly, the numbers don't really stack up at all. Because, like, you find 21 before 16, but you know what? This is the one you probably would normally find second, so it's the one we're going to play second. Emptiness here, like the sands of the Great Salt Lake, echoed the beating in the divide sky, like storm drums of the white legs, ran with them on the salt beds at Kaiser's command, cut the throats of the two-headed bear, cut all communities off. You storm, sky... Disease, fire, starvation, and the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could, might, stand against him. But the white legs, they couldn't live on their own like most scavengers, so gave them purpose, turned their hunger into a weapon. The wall of New Canaan, too high for Kaiser, too proud maybe. Or maybe something there from his past that needed killing. Memory of Graham. Help them dig out Kanan supply caches and other secrets the sands hid. Bunkers filled with powered weapons even the Brotherhood might desire. They call these new weapons storm drums in the firing of shells. Taught them the power in the casings to channel the spirits in their guns. Me. They called me the flag bearer. Glory in my hand, in my staff that still bore the weight of the old world, just as the symbol on my back did. I learned their weapons as a means of respect, and when it came their turn to pay respect to me, history came rushing back. Can't escape what's been done. History's there, no matter how far you walk. Now we get a little insight into Ulysses when he was sent by Caesar over into Zion and indeed taught the guys there to become what we fought when we went there ourselves. So, straight on to the next as well. Now over to, or back to possibly, 17-16. Big empty. There's something hidden there. A crater. Past wind and sand. So deep in the desert. There's no turning back. Finding the crater was an accident. Was following the weather patterns. The divide sky torn like that. Man's violence, not nature's. That violence in the sky had a source. Tracked it, like following a river current. Left the colors to mark my way, like always. In case someone finds them, learns the pattern. The courier might. But I thought sand and wind would never end. Came to the crater. And there, there was an old world facility. A weather station at the edge. Still raking the sky with electricity. 
electricity and generators. And beyond it, saw the rest of the old world hell there, all carved up like garden plots. Had to see what was there. Couldn't leave it be. Things sleep in the big empty. The Brotherhood woke them up. Can't move quiet any more than the two-headed bear can. And when they woke up, it was like all of history waking up at once. Almost didn't make it out. Almost. Left with answers I never intended. And there we are. Another bit of DLC. We know Ulysses visited Old World Blues. I like the logs. The logs are really cool. The logs just provide you with... Uh, a little bit more context for Ulysses and who he is uh, and what he does, which is very, very nice indeed. And also, it's given me an excuse to go back and re loot because apparently I missed a whole bunch of containers. So that's nice too. And as I'm selling the old riot gear, I may as well swap it for, yes, a nice few, at least one full round of high explosives. There we are, that'll do. Rocket high explosives, buy those from the terminal. Very, very nice indeed. So now, uh, I've got one full round there. But still, I'd say at this point, we're looking uh, very, very nice indeed. In our advanced riot gear there with... Oh, yeah. I feel like I belong in Lonesome Road at this point. That's very, very nice indeed. Oh, yeah. Just flipping lovely, in fact. And having made it as far as the crow's nest and discovered Ulysses spying on us, we can discuss what that means a little bit more when we get to the next big point at the end of the high road. And we will pick that up next week, ladies and gentlemen. We will get to the end of the high road. We will run into another one of the named marked men. <laughs> another flipping nasty one. In fact, actually, you know what else we need to do? At the beginning of next time, we've just taken Mad Bomber. I think me and Edie need to have a little chat about what I can now produce and how far that might help me. We will definitely be looking into that next time as well. And beyond that, well, there's the flipping elevator ride. I think we're going to be doing the elevator ride next time, ladies and gentlemen. And the elevator ride is going to be hell. Trapped in a confined space with a whole flipping bunch of the tunnelers. Because so far, the only tunnels I've run into, I killed one and then I ran like a coward from the rest. I'm going to be trapped with them just spawning on top of me in a confined, explodey space. And that's just going to be great flipping fun to take care of, won't it? Yes. Yes, it absolutely will. So, that is to come next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas with Lonesome Road. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weeklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh, God, Germany, not again!